there usually is probably between five and ten people besides the patient on the day of surgery um, that look after all the patient's needs. When you think about it, patient is that they're most vulnerable when they come here. We only meet them for a few minutes prior to and a few minutes once they walk in, uh, after which they're anesthetized either under general anesthetic or regional or local. There has to be a cohesive way to work together in such a small space with all those people to make sure we provide the safest possible care for that patient, um, advocate for them, they can't speak for themselves when they're asleep, and just make sure that overall um, success of that procedure is at the highest level. We certainly try to maintain everything we have, but uh, over time everything wears out and so it needs replacing, it needs updating, it needs modernizing. The foundation has certainly provided so much for us, especially this year. I have been closely involved with all the purchases for this year uh, alone. And I mean, the, the donations that have been given to us are tremendously important. If we were a hotel, we'd get zero reviews on TripAdvisor and nobody would ever come back. And this is what we wish for people is to never have to come back or have to come in the first place. But if they do, knowing that we have modern equipment, reliable equipment, great staff expertise to take care of the person at our, uh, you know, in our hands is the most important thing. So if you're considering donating, that's wonderful. I hope you never have to see the use on yourself. <laughs> but if and when you do, we'll be here and we'll take care of you.